Oh. Suppose that you are offered the following deal. You roll a six sided die. If you roll six, you win six bucks. If you roll four or five, you win four. Otherwise, you pay five bucks. Complete a PDF, the PDF probability distribution table. List the X values, the profits, smallest to largest, blah, 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 round to four decimal places. Okay, so let's do it. So what are they, what are they wanting me to do? Well, over here, this side is the money. And this side is the prob probability. That's what we're doing with a probability distribution. One side has the money. The other side has the probability of those amounts of money. Let's take a look. So um, you roll the six-sided die. So if you roll a six, you win $6. So that's $6. You don't need to put in the dollar sign, but I'm just trying to be clear. $6. And what's the probability of that? You have to roll a six. You, you know about a die, right? You know what we're talking about? We're talking about, here, let me draw one. Um, a die like this, right? And then it has different numbers on the sides. Like it has, you know, like maybe six dots on this side and, you know, and then maybe five dots on this side and and um maybe four dots on this side you know you know those dice right you know what we're talking about so we've got a six-sided die that we're rolling and um therefore what's the chance you're going to roll a six Any thoughts? Are we out there? Do we know the probability of that one? Six. One seventeen. One. Wait. One one six. One six, out of six. 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 Right. One out of six. Yeah. Because remember, probability always has the total on the bottom, huh? Probability is always uh, the number you're asking for over the total. Right, so one as is, because there's one result out of six, right? Because you can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or six, and we're wanting to get a six. So that's just one out of the six different things that can happen, huh? So the probability oh, here, no, you're just no, gonna no. take one divided by six. But on that's six. why I got two cases. And let me see, what does it come out to be? It comes out to be point. The second case too? No, but like. One, it's okay, six. There's another case in there. Five. Like that, and then we're supposed to round it to four. It's okay. There's another one. No, there's four decimal places, and um, so I put my line after four. Remember the rounding. The six means we round that up. So point one six six seven, right? That good so far. What's the next amount of money you could win? Four, four bucks. for you. Yeah. You could win four bucks. And what do you got to get do to win four bucks? You have to roll a four or five. What's the chance? What's what, what's the probability? I should say, probability that you're going to roll a four or a five. Two out of six. Good job. Two out of six because there's two two things out of six, right? It's the number you're asking for. Two different things out of six total, right? So we just go two divided by six. Use your calculator again, get a decimal. I'm getting 0.3333, so that's, I don't need to round anything, it's just straight there, 0.3333. I don't need to round up, I mean, 0.3333. Good so far, and now there's one other thing that can happen to your bank account when you play this game. What else can happen? Otherwise, You're going to pay five bucks, right? And so that means negative five. You see why we made it negative? Because you're losing it. So these ones are positive because you made $6 or made $4. But the last thing that can happen is you lose $5, negative five. What's the, what's the probability of that? 
How do you lose the five bucks? And getting three a one. over six. Yes. Yeah, one, two, or three. Good job. One, two, or three. That's the probability that you roll one, two, or three, which is three out of six. Right. That's when you'll, because it says otherwise, meaning otherwise, if you don't roll a six or you don't roll a four or five, right? Roll a six, you win. Four or five, you win. Otherwise, meaning roll one, two, or three. So that's three out of six. That's just 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So that's the probability that you're going to lose five bucks. Mr. Oh. Herr? Yeah, question. That, that six that you're dividing, is that the six on the die or the six for the, the cost? No, yeah, it's the six on the die because okay. probability always has the total number of things that can happen. So when you roll the die, there's six different things that can happen. Yeah, it's just a pure coincidence that this is a six also. That's yeah, that makes sense. Good sense. question. Good question. It's just the six different things that can happen when you roll the die. All right, so um, so what do you guys think about this game? Do you think this is a fair game, a good game? Would you play this game, say, at a, at a casino or something? Would this be a good game to play? No. Don't think so? You have a 50% chance of losing. Uh, you do, which, which that means also you have a 50% chance of winning. What do you think? No, you guys don't like this game. You think you're gonna you're gonna lose? There's a half chance of winning, and if you win, you win six dollars or maybe four dollars. Well, the the answer to the question about whether this is a good game to play or not is in the calculation called expected profit or expected value. Same thing. So we did some of this last time. I want, I changed, I, I felt like I showed you guys a difficult way to do that and I want to make it easier. So basically, let me show you how you calculate expected value. What expected value is, is average profit. In other words, when you play this game, on average, what's going to happen? Of course, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win six bucks, sometimes you win four, sometimes you lose five. But what's going to happen on average what's typically going to happen how do we how do we figure that out well to do that to find average profit let me erase this work here and show you how you calculate average profit it's actually very easy let me let me flash back real quick to the notes so here's the exam two notes and i changed my description down here for you. Uh, gambling and insurance. See what I, I changed? I know I had you guys do the computer uh, calculator last time. I don't think that was easy. So I, I changed it a little bit for you guys uh, right here um, just to make life easier here. So let's, let's go back. Let me, um, let me put that in for you right here. After class, I felt like I didn't really show the easiest way to do those. So here we go. So gambling or insurance. So here's a better way. Remember last time we made a table, but I think this is easier. If the problem says expected value for you, do the probability of payout times the payout minus the cost. If it says expected value for the company, then do the cost minus the probability of payout times the payout dollars. And that's, that's all you gotta do. So basically um, on this question, they're saying find the expected profit. So that's for us, right? That's profit for us. So, so we're, we're doing expected value for us. So it's the probability of the payouts times the payouts. We just have to multiply those. So, so all we have to do is multiply those together. Okay. So, and there's no cost. Yeah. Notice this game never, never has a cost. It never says, here's the, I mean, you pay $5 if you, if you if you roll badly but that's not the same as a cost they don't say here's the cost they just it, it, it all we got to do is multiply so long story short all we have to do is go times 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 so you just take six times point one six six seven plus 
four times 0.3333 plus negative five. Do you guys know how to do the negative on the calculator? This is a negative, um, which is the minus that's in parentheses on the calculator. It's at the bottom row of the of the TI calculator. It's on the bottom row, negative five times 0.5, and then hit equals or enter to get an answer. I'm gonna do it too. And I'm getting negative 0.1666. Oh, it says round to the nearest cent. I didn't notice that. So I got the answer negative 0.1666. Rounded to the nearest cent. Well, that means we need to stop right here, right? Because pennies are two places past decimal. This is a six. So round this up, negative 0.17. So my answer is negative 0.17. Is that okay? Questions on that? So if you're going to interpret it, okay, it said find the expected profit. So right. you would actually lose 17 cents if yeah. I were to convey yeah. this like, okay. Yeah, so, so that's the average amount of money you're going to lose every time you play this game. On average, you're going to lose 17 cents per game. That's what expected. That's what you should expect, in other words. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I have a different question for the um, A section. Is that okay? What section? Uh, for the A part, part A. Okay. Um, you yeah. know how it says right there on the bottom, um, from smallest to largest? Necessarily, were you supposed to do it on the X or the P multiplied by X? Complete the table. List X and Y part. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Um, I guess I blew it. Yeah, good, good. Thank you for pointing that out. I, I, I should read the question better. Thanks. Yeah, I, uh, they mean, yes, yeah, smallest to largest X. So they're talking about X. I got that backwards. So I put the biggest and then I went down to the small because negative is the smallest, right? I did it backwards. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the heads up on that. Let me, let me switch that around. They're, they're certainly being kind of particular, aren't they? Um, okay, yeah, let me go fix that. So I should have put the negative five first. You lose the $5, and then the positive four, and then the positive six. I didn't even read it. X is the profit, smallest profit to largest. So the smallest is that you lose money all the way up to winning the biggest. Yeah, thanks. And this, what was this one, point five, I think? And, the four dollars was uh, 0 0.3333, and this one was 0 0.1667. Yeah, so it should be that way. Thank you, Juan. Yeah. Awesome. So would I, you ha would you have the same outcome? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. This answer won't change. Yeah, the answer is totally the same because it doesn't matter what order for the multiplying. It just matters in the table. They just they're just being particular about their table. It doesn't really change any answers. It, they just want it in that order. Yeah, good, good. So our answer is 0.17. Is that making sense? Everybody understanding that? So it's negative. It's actually negative 0.17, which is important. That means, let, let's go down here and read the words. What, is, what does that mean? If you play mini games, you will likely lose on average very close to 17 cents per game. Yes, that's exactly what it means, right? Because there's no way you're going to lose 17 cents on one game. That's not, that's not possible, right? You're either going to lose five bucks or win four bucks or win six bucks. 17 cents, negative 17 cents is what's going to happen on average. So on average, if you play many games, it'll be like you're losing 17 cents per game. That's what you should expect. That's why we call it the expected profit or the expected value. It's what will happen 
That's what will very likely happen. That's what you should expect. Does that make sense there? Or no, and let's go down to the part D. Based on the expected value, should you play this game? No, this is a gambling game, and it's always a bad idea to gamble. No, no. Since the expected value is negative, you would be very likely to come home with less money if you played many games. Whoa, what did I just hit there? Um, yes, that's the answer. Everybody seeing that? Uh, Mr. Herod, how yeah. if uh, I find the expected profit is positive? Oh, did you get a positive one? Yes. Then you yeah, I did too. Um, and, 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 and you can answer it that way. Here, let, so uh, the interpret for the C one is still same like your answer? Um, okay, yeah. So if you, if you have one that came out positive, you got a positive expected value, then on part C, it will be you will win this much if it's positive. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. That's not right. It would be this one. This is the most likely amount of money you would. Are you sure yours came out positive? Could you tell me your, end, your numbers real quick? Uh, yeah, it would be like $12. Uh, it would be like minus $9. Oh, hold on. One uh, okay. Yeah. So, you, you uh, got, if, so go ahead. One more I got, time. What was that? Okay. I got uh, if you win twelve dollars, if you roll a two, three, four, or five, you win five dollars. Otherwise, you pay nine dollars. Do I have that right? You win twelve dollars. Oh wait, it's not here. Hold on. I'm not. Yeah. If if there you roll a six. You win twelve dollars. If you roll a two, three, four, or five, you win five dollars. Otherwise, you pay nine dollars. Okay, so that's correct. What I have now, you win twelve dollars if you roll a six. Yes. Otherwise, uh, you win five dollars if you roll two, three, four, or five. Otherwise, you pay nine. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so when you do the probability distribution table, x, p of x, start with the smallest, the worst thing that can happen to you financially, that'd be you lose $9, right, negative nine. And, and then you could, negative uh, $9, then you could win $5, positive five, or you could win $12, positive 12. That making sense so far? Yes. Okay, now what's the probability? Well, let's start with the 12. The probability, if you roll a six, that's one divided by six. So that's going to be 0.1667 again, because the roll in the six is one out of six. Uh, two, three, four, and five, that's four out of six, isn't it? Four out of six. Yes. You do that, you, can't tell, you get six, 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 seven. And then finally, the otherwise pay $9. What else is there? So we have the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. You roll a six, you win. You win uh, $12. If you roll a two, three, four, five, you win $5. And then if you roll a one, that's the only thing left. That's when you lose the $9, right? That's all that's left. So that'd be one out of six. Oh, okay. One six six seven. Is that good to there? Okay, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Minus nine. I thought it will be two out of six. Okay, does it make sense now? Because there's only one thing left for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Does that one come out negative then? So then you then you would need to multiply, multiply, multiply. Let me see. I 
I, I got a positive. Three eighty three. Unless I messed up. So I just did your problem and I got a positive. So I did get positive. I did get a positive expected value. So that's a good question. So, so how did I get that? I just multiplied. Is everybody understanding how you get expected value? You just multiply the, the money times the probability. That's all you have to do. Money times the probability, and then you add them up. You add them up. So I, I, I multiplied, 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 and then I added them up. And so let me do it one more time just to double check. Yeah, right. I got positive 383. So that means this is a game you should play because you expect on average to win that amount of money. Does that make any sense? You expect to win on average $3.83 every time you play this game. That's the average thing that's going to happen. That's what you should expect. So definitely play this game. So if the expected value comes out positive, that's a game you should play. You expect to win. If the expected value comes out negative, so back on mine, I got a negative expected value. So I'm going to lose at this game on average. Is that making sense? How you would answer those questions? Oh, yeah. I, I have a, the answer. I guess if you play many games, you will will likely win on average very close to 3.83 per game. Oh yeah, yours changed the question up there. Yeah, good. good. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. That's what you would choose, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so let me tell you something, guys. I, I want this math, this statistics to mean something for your life. Let's talk about gambling for a minute. Notice that our answer came out negative didn't it? Came out negative 0.17. What does that mean? That means on average, you're going to lose at this game. And then the one we did with Sylvia's example right here, the expected value came out positive, which means you're going to win on average at that game, right? It's all about the expected value calculation because that's the average thing that's going to happen if you play many times. Well, at the casinos, they know all about this calculation. There's a mathematical people behind the scenes that calculate all the games, the, the roulette, the cards, the blackjack, the craps, all the games, the kino, every single game. They have done the expected value calculations precisely and carefully. And guess what? Every expected value at, at the casino, Every expected value is negative, every one, which means on average, you will lose if you play it a lot. Every expected, the slot machines are, are some of the worst. Every game there, on average, you will lose. Yeah, do you, could you win sometimes? Could you have a lucky day or a lucky weekend? For sure, for sure. But if you play regularly, you play a lot, you will lose money. Absolutely, no question about it. They calculated it. It's, it's math. It's, it's guaranteed. It's just a matter of time. You can win for a while. You can even have a lucky month, maybe. Maybe even a lucky year. But if you're a regular player, you will pay them. They've calculated it. They know it. They don't have those giant, they don't give away dinners in hotel rooms because they're losing money. They don't pay the rent on those giant places because they're losing money. They know on average, they, they not only know um, that you're going to lose, they know how fast you're going to lose. They know how fast you're going to lose your money and pay it to them. They can, they can, they can pinpoint how much money they're going to make almost exactly per day based on how many people are going to play and what games are going to be played and what the expected value is for the various games. They know it. They have it all down. It's a science for them. 
They know it exactly. So I, so I say that so that you're an informed gambler. If you, if you enjoy gambling because it's fun entertainment, fine, that's fine. But don't think that you're going to make money. That's where people get into trouble and they lose their houses and all kinds of crazy stuff. If you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to go there, I'm going to have some fun, and I'm going to lose some money. It's my entertainment cost. Great. Have fun. But if you go there thinking you're going to win money, watch out. You're fooling yourself. You're not paying attention to the numbers, and you're in danger of harming your own life. So be aware. They have done the calculations. They know they're going to win. You will lose. It's just a matter of time. You play long enough, the averages will take over and you will lose. So just know that going in. Any questions I can answer on this one? It's all about expected. Value. So if, um, if you got a positive um, expected value, what right. would you put for part D? So for part D, if you got a positive expected value, you would say yes, uh, you should play this game. They should have a yes answer down there. Okay. Yes. You would very likely come home with more money if you played many games. Yeah, that would be the one for a positive expected value. You'd be right there. Yeah, good question. So if you got positive, answer that one. 